Okay, let's review a couple of the topics we mentioned here. A criminal action performed on computers is what? That's cybercrime. And hackers who test security is, they're the white hat hackers. Requires your help to infect the PC. Well, that's a virus. Things that crawl around the webs looking for unprotected PCs, well, that's a worm. And bad program disguised as a good program is a Trojan horse. The thing that protects you from virus is an antivirus program. The thing that protects you from worms is a firewall. The most widespread threat of the things at the bottom there, the most widespread threat is what? That's basically a virus. Okay, safe, a safe place for viruses. Okay, a safe place where you put them, where the antivirus program puts them is a quarantine. The computer that's controlled by hackers is called bots. And an army of PCs controlled by hackers is a botnet. And the thing, the action that shuts down the websites is a DDoS attack, DDoS, distributed denial of service attacks. Okay, which is not how viruses are spread. Downloading free songs or videos, opening strange email attachments, sharing a USB flash drive, printing foreign language documents. <laughs> Obviously, it's the last one. Okay, the, which is not a good password policy, using letters, numbers, or symbols. That's good. Keeping all passwords secret. That's good. Different passwords for each account. Okay, using really long dictionary words. No, that's not, that's not good enough. Okay, the most secure way to protect a computer account is a long password, fingerprint identification, facial recognition. Well, it's two-factor authentication because it requires two things. One, a password that you know and some object that you have, like your phone. Today, we talked about how you can protect your computer and your data. But next time, we're going to talk about something even more important, how you can protect yourself. Be sure to watch.